how do the charms you're probably gaffered by the video just there i'm going to be doing a little bit more outer worlds people heck yes and uh, yeah we've got a new mission to kind of do it's all the way over that way so we go this way to get to that way heck yes let's make it bigger on screen though shall we people let's get into this heck yes i'm gonna put on my little mini handgun i think people oh landmine take that landmine and you i missed you it's handy it goes red when you're above a landmine there you are you just a glowing plant nope you are a landmine okay uh, you got a lamp post there beaming light on the floor is there probably the, look they've hit a landmine under the lamp post you sneaky gits there's another one there okay all right i think that's all the landmines taken care of but why have we got this blurred vision sort of going on at the moment i don't know can i go through the river or am i going to drown there's only one way to find out are we good we didn't drown which is lucky since it's you know just it's not all that deep to be honest all right let's go around this way okay well we've made it to a town and so we can just amble down this rock face without breaking any limbs there we are can i just jump this wall to get inside of the confines we're going to give it a go people oh look there's ah we just missed the jump there okay right let's uh, let's try that again freaking just stand on the poxy rock haha -ha, i'm in yes we'll have all of that thank you oh we found ourselves a little dead guy yep i'll have that as well thank you very much System. hello Here they come. ah he shot me Yeah, we, we did, didn't we? We did that. That was us. We uh, caused a bit of havoc there. Havoc! Have that, you frickin' ribbit. We're good. Well, your dreams have come true. You're easily pleased. Okay, yeah, lucky we didn't use the front gate. That looks a little bit um, dangerous. Dangerous! Hello! I have got better guns. I don't know why I'm using this still. These take a bit more killing than the humanoids. I'll have all of that. Thank you very much. Hold on. I I've got a bigger gun. There you are. I'll teach him. You shouldn't just run out, out of cover, though, my little friend. You know? Okay. I guess we're going in here then. Oh, I've got this little box. Can I open up? No, can't open that box. That'd be silly. Right, let's go in then. I do like this artwork. It does look quite cool, doesn't it? You know, it's very, very retro esque vibes. Hmm. Something I would say though, people, is if you're not playing this game every single day or at least you know regular it's quite easy to forget where you are with it the control room should be off to the okay vending machine it was glowing it was glowing people so i'd have been i i really don't know what i need and what i don't right. so yeah. i hope we're doing right there Ooh, place tunes what are we doing then i, I don't get why we're in here uh, she was saying something but i was too busy pissing about with a, a vending machine to care Right, can I jump through the window? I can jump through the window. Okay, purging incomplete. There's some files there. Cool, lovely jobs. Didn't read them, but maybe I should. Ah! Take that combat drone. Yeah, I won that combat. I guess I did. Oh, what what she encountered? Man, what do you mean we? I did it. You, you just stood there getting freaking annihilated, my friend. There's a ladder up there. I don't know where that goes. Okay, well, I'm getting distracted from where I need to go by ladders. Heck yes, ladders. There's got to be something worthwhile up here. 
have all that. Yeah, why why use a vending machine when you can get it all free just by climbing a ladder? Alright, okay, there's a door here. Well, maybe this is the way I should have gone. Unlock the office door. Why not? Okay. Messages. Lots of messages. Okay, there we go. Hopefully the system thinks that I've read them, even though I didn't. We'll have that. Yeah, I want it. Give me it. Okay, let's go in there. Okay, well hopefully this is the path of least resistance. Well, it probably wasn't. I was right next to this door until she started getting shot and then I found a ladder. Righto. Um, well, this looks like a generator room. Surely I could just have some of this, you know, for my ship. I don't know. I'm just making up stuff now. Well, this seems barely abandoned apart from robots. What the fudge happened? Okay, can I read this letter? There's blood all over the freaking shop. Um, okay, I guess we interact with this then. Redirect power. There we go. Was that easy? Well, somebody else is just going to come here and just do the same freaking thing, aren't they, really, you know? Well, I can't change it back again. That, 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 that choice seems to have been final for some reason. Whatever I've done, it, somebody's free gone without power. I'm not too sure. Free switches. Oh, okay. So that's just switch number one. All right, fine. We'll go this way then. We'll do switch number two. Uh, or I would. It must be down here. Hello, little mouse guy. I do like the little mouse guys. They're pretty cool, cool aren't they? Sealed. Awesome biscuits. So I guess I'm going to have to go through here. And unseal the door with this. Unlock door. Um, enter passcode. Okay. Well, that was easy enough. Um, access personal log. Personal log. Personal log. There we go. Return to root. And exit. Done. Uh, we'd have that. We'd have that. Anything else I can have? Yes, I can have this. And what the fudge is that when it's at home? Is that some more of that uh, healthy stuff? Probably. Who freaking knows? Anyway, let's get through here. Probably a lot of people in the uh, viewer audience that's paying more attention to this game than you, Captain Steve. Probably no. Oh, great. Minigun! Okay. Well, that, that was a nice bit of tunage. I don't know what that means, but yeah. Companion perks. Cool. She could do with a few perks, to be honest. We could be doing it with upgrading her. Says me, that's probably needs of upgrades myself. What's what's around here? Is there anything worth having? Um, there's something over here. Nice. Hello. Cool, it's okay. I got it. I got it. I, it's just a mano. Just a mano. Great. Just lost some ammo by reloading when I didn't need to. Thank you very much to uh, the whole. Action button being the reload button. Oh, you budging git! <laughs> Take that! Okay. Well, we've got one more lever to do. What a nice post poster there. The taste of freedom. Spacer's choice with extra added artificial ingredients at no extra cost. Brilliant. That's just like today's world. You can't get away from having like a freaking science recipe on the back of pretty much anything you eat these days. Oh, great. Hacking skill. Too low. All right. And how do I get my hacking skill up? Let's go into here then. And let's go into here. I've got 10 points available. So I guess if I put that, is that into, I don't know where hacking is on this skill tree, to be honest. No, where is it? I guess it's to do with lock picking, is it? Uh, maybe. Let's just stick them all into there. Let's get that up to 20. Let's put that up to 20 as well. Oh, no. Okay, we can't do that. Okay. Um, what else can I put up? I'm going to do that one. Dialogue won't go up any further. Oh, it does go up a bit more. There we go. 
And you know what? I haven't done anything in leadership yet, so let's just stick a couple of points into the leadership just for fun. I still can't do it. Ah, okay. Um, oddness. We've got Pravati. There we go. Let's go into here. Let's see if she's got... Oh. Oh, for fudge's sake. R2. Okay. Health perk. Can you... You can't really... Oh, okay. I'll give you that. Um, and I've got no other perk points to spend on you. Alright. Okay, well, that, that was fun. Um, so I can't hack that anyway. Let's go through here, then. More free loot. Mm, nothing there to loot. Boom, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum, boom. Can I open this box? No. Biddly, biddly, be. One more lever to pull. Oh, we can open that. Okay, cool. What's all this, though, in here? What are these things? Bizarre. Maybe charging base for the robots? Mm, that's what I'm going to guess at, and that's what I'm sticking with. Holy fudge. What? Who was that? Where did that voice come from? Get away phantom. Is that what it said? Well, I can't see where the voice came from. Alright. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Let's head on down here. I heard a voice. I've heard it again. It said get away, but I couldn't see where the voice was coming from. Maybe it's down on this level somewhere. No, 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 just leave me alone. Or maybe it's inside this door? But that voice freaking carries. No. Shouldn't that? Oh, great. Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. Okay, let's run. Jump. There you go. Processing. Process this. Process that. Hopefully she'll be okay. Cannot use it while in combat. Well, I think you'll find I'm not. She is. Yeah, it took you long enough, didn't it? It took you long enough. Alright, cool. Let's go and access that now. We're not in combat anymore unless steam counts. There you go. Sweet. Yeah, still don't know where that voice was coming from. Maybe just missed a key NPC there. What do you mean, one to go? You said free earlier. What happens to the rail? I don't really overly care at this point. Right, great. We've got no weapons. I'm sh I'm sure I've been picking up ammo all this time, but obviously not. All right, hand to hand combat with a freaking weapon specialist droid. Great idea, Steve. Yeah, you keep shooting her, so I can hack you to smithereens. What the fudge? Now what? Where is she? Did she just die? I don't think she did. I just don't know where she is. Oh, there she is. Hello, love. I don't know what you was up to, but well done. Well, that looks like it might be broken. Oh, no, it's not. We can go through there, but I think the lever is up this way and over here. Take this, guard robot! Yes, what are you guarding? Take that. Thank you. Head on over here. Brilliant. Comes now the power. We've done. We've done it, yeah. That was that was great, wasn't it? Are you feeling good about yourself? Yeah? Yeah, huh? Uh, 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 uh. You mean about the mission being too clean? Yeah, that that yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, but Vicker says the universe is a machine and it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicker sees is one ain't never been run. It, it's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf under glass. Hmm. Okay. 
fixing the universe is a job for somebody way better than the likes of me. Yeah. Cool. No, I guess that's that conversation done then. Okay, cool, right. So how do we get out of here then? 85, 86 meters this way. Right, fine, we'll just go straight out. I, I, I don't really feel that I need to over-research out this place. Someone's probably going to tell me, oh, Captain Steve, you missed out on a giant ray gun that morphed everybody's heads into rabbits. Which would have been freaking awesome! I hope that's not the case. I hope I haven't missed out on some sort of... I don't know, amorphic cannon that turns you into some sort of shrubbery or some sort of little creature. Once we do this, there's no going back. Well, what a shame. It's happening. Hey, mister? Yeah? Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Yeah? Do you understand what you're about to do? Yes. Uh, I won't mind hearing your opinion. I don't opinion. think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. Mm -hmm. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. All right. But the town's got some good people in it. Okay. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. It's not really punishment, you know. I see your point. I think I'm ready to make sure. As we're always going to die without the workers and power. Well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. Yeah! In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. Mm. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Well, come on then! Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. Well, there you go! There you go. Cool. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... No, that's cool. I felt like I had to say something. No, that's fine. I'm going to do it anyway. Um, regardless. So, here we go. Because I'm here now, and, uh, you know, it's... why the fudge not? Uh, come on. Uh, come on. I, I'm... Done. What a shame. Okay, cool. To be honest, like I said in previous episodes, both of them have got their pros and cons. You know, both of those towns or whatever. And I'm not overly fussed which one goes, as long as my ship works. I, I know that sounds a little bit heartless, but, you know, I'm going to be off to another planet in a bit, and then it's their problem. But at the same time, it's, it's problems that they could probably solve themselves without any sort of intervention. Or somebody else could have done this. It didn't need me to do it. It wasn't exactly hard to go pull some levers protected by a couple of freaking drones. Yummy. Hmm. Okay, right. Let's head on back to Edgewater then. Well, I can see that they haven't done anything with this force field. Well, that's um, that's fun, isn't it? Can I turn this thing off from the inside? Can I turn this green on button? No? Okay, right, fine. Well, I guess we're going to have to climb up here and do some well-timed jumps to escape the city. Come on! Come on! Come on! Okay, that's not happening. Shite! Am I now trapped in this freaking forsaken hole of evil? Nope, there's a hole in the wall right here, Captain Steve. So all that jumping that you've been doing, mate, completely pointless. Oh, for fudge sake, just give me the poxy gun. That the yes, I want that. Right, hopefully it comes with ammo. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Primal beer moth. I don't want to freaking take on a primal beer moth without any freaking ammo. There we are. Come on, Primal Beamer! Where is it? Hmm. I saw the energy bar for it, and then I don't see shy at all for the freaking creature. Alright, fine. Come on, we we'll stick to the path then, mate. Where have we got to go, exactly? Oh, we're going over this way. Okay. Um, I don't think I can climb back up that rock face that I jumped down. So I'm going to go around the long way. Which means I might have to go past a load of freaking marauders, which I don't fancy doing. So we're going to run around the back of all the marauders. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Captain Steve runs away to live again another day. 
Do the other marauders all spawn in that I've already murdercated? I don't know. Alright. Let's go see how these guys are doing. I don't really even know which one I turned off. Was it this camp that I turned off? Okay, yeah, I think it was. Huh. Alright, well, they, they, yeah, they all seem to be having a nice little uh, bonfire and a bit of a chat now. Okay, I might not really want to be here, you know, if I've just subjugated them to death. Hello. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. Sorry, you're talking to me, love. This is all you're doing. <laughs> Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil and my flock will starve. Oh, back to town then, love. I'm you this in private, mm. away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me. Why did you do it? Mm, ba -dum -bum -bum. You want my flock wasting their lives in that cannery? Fine. Go and talk to them. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over. And the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. Oh, so that tell yeah. Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. Right, eh? Okay. Sure. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. I honestly thought that that option was for me to talk to Reed, not to kill him. Okay, all right, fine. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. There you go. Compromise. Eleanor, made the veil bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me. And I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. The secret is human corpses. I don't care. What? I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker. Don't matter much to me. Oh, well, she's lovely, the isn't she? body is rich with nutrients. They've all got sinister sides. Okay. I don't know whether I want to help her at all now. Edgewater Cemetery's got corpses aplenty. Enough for a generation's worth of crops. Bloody hell. Okay. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. Was she, did you stick he him in there? Of medicine, locked away. But Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. Well, Reed's just as so bad I as you, love. My boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. Alright. Well, did you put him in the mincer? You need to hear. Yeah, I bet you put him in the mincer. I've got a feeling you put him in the mincer, and that's probably why you're so freaking messed up. Right, okay, let's, um... Let's go talk to these people, then, who are going to give me a, a freaking telling off. Come on then. Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. Whoa, Miss Parvati. Hey, you're uh, what? Um, how, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. Uh, hello. <laughs> are you uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running. Just There's like some you. sort of chemistry between Only these two. I'm not so. Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no, I, I'm just along with this fella here. I've seen you wandering around here. You don't look like you're coming from town. I'm trying to boost the, the um, PlayStation voice there a bit. Um, okay, I'll take that as a compliment. Well, am I answering for her now? Never heard it phrased in yeah. such a way before. I guess we're all trying to get our ships off the ground, ain't we? Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. 
Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Right. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. Okay. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? I haven't. Comes Don't in tell me. Three. If oh. I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Well done. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. Oh, great. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even Fetch one quest. of those pads, yeah. I'd be greatly obliged. Righto. I... <clears throat> Okay, I'll let you know Would if I you? find anything. Yes. I'd be grateful. Good. I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I Good. Sick there you go. I've the done cannery. them a favor. I, I gave them the that. kick in the ass they needed. I mentioned he... those manuals on mechanical engineering. Suppose if I... Yeah, whatever. Okay. What's I don't. On your mind? I don't want to ask you anything, but, um, yeah. Luck, mostly. Nothing's needed serious repairing yet. Nothing's broken down that we can't just replace with something scavenged from the outskirts. Well, not until the power went and cut out. Now everyone's giving me sidelong looks, expecting me to work some miracle and get the generator humming again. Hmm, okay, fine. I'm gonna just leave. Okay, so that's him. I've got a little side mission from him. Now it's the lady with the lovely hat that I like. I don't know what you did to talk some sense into Zoe, but I appreciate it. No problems. The matter's been weighing on me. Zoe came back, but I couldn't keep her from slipping out in the first place. Who's to say I could keep marauders from slipping in? True. I don't see us lasting more than a couple of weeks out here. I'm loath to admit it. We're gonna have to make our peace with Thompson and hope he takes us back. Listen, we go back to Reed, hat in hand, begging for our old jobs back. Well, Adelaide's not going to forgive us. She never talked to us again. Sure, suit yourself. I'll be here. Sweet. Okay, so I guess I'm going to go talk to Hobson, see if I can square this off and um, sort stuff out, you know? Any luck finding one of those manuals? Uh, maybe? No. No, no. Okay, right. Well, we're going to talk to this lady down here again, just to let her know that I've spoken to all of her inbreds. Hello, mate. Tip top. Look at that. The snakes come back. Yes, I have. Oh, okay. Great. That's it. All right, fine. I guess now we've got to go and speak to um, Hobson, or whatever his name is. Thompson, Hobson, Diddly Dobson. All the way over 400 odd frickin' meters away. It's gonna take me a long time to get there, people. So, you know what? I'll reconvene once I'm there. Right, though, people. Well, I think I'm back to town. Here we go. Reed Thompson's gaff. Right on. Edgewater. I really do like that. Employment community. Spaces Joys. Pretty nice. Okay, right. I think I made the right choice, people. I mean, if you've played this game before. What happened when you went the other way? What happens when you cut the power to this place? Do they actually thrive in that little mini camp surrounded by marauders? I honestly think this is the better safe haven. I know it's got a cannery and a cannery isn't for everybody and it's, you know, not great. I know the quality of life here and the work-life balance sucks. But it's... It, this is a city where that is a camp. Is, that's a kind of how I made my decision. I know that's probably the not the best way to make a decision based on that, but I just thought this is the most logical solution. Anyway, that, that's just me. But Soul Tuna, you know, they're, they're making decent stuff here. It actually tastes half decent, apparently. Everybody raves about it. If you close down that cannery, Soul Tuna's gone. Everybody likes a bit of tuna. Even you, love, right? I don't think she's that happy with me. I don't think she'd be that happy either way, though, to be honest. Hello there, mate. Job done. But I've got a proposition for you. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? Well, what I want the option to say is they are going to come back, but they want you to split leadership with Adelaide. That's what I want to see there. 
I spoke to Adeline today. She won't come back as long as you're here. I delivered your message, but haven't convinced Adeline to come back. I want to talk to you about something. Um, let's Go see ahead. I, yeah. Have you taken a look around your town lately? What makes you think you can convince the converters to come? I'm pretty fixed on bringing Adelaide back to town. Adelaide was our only flavor specialist. We are a Saltuna canning institution. Saltuna without flavor is mm -hmm. like a cysty pig without tumors, borderline inedible. Okay. Uh. Word up to me, friend. I'd stack our larders with Saltuna galore. No other brand of Saltuna adds as much vim or vigor to the body's humors. All right, fine. But, and this is something we must keep between the two of us. Saltuna is hard to come by. What with being a species indigenous to the seas of another world. <laughs> you serious? I've just been slaughtering a load of these freaking wild dog creatures and picking up a shed load of meat. Why don't you move into that? Steakhouse. Heck yes. Oh, we've scavenged together some organic material from the surrounding environs. Mostly organic, mostly local mushrooms. Okay. Some of which possess a texture akin to a well-boiled slab of saltuna. Ah. The difference is all but impossible to detect to any but the prissiest of palate. Okay. Brilliant. Go, Go ahead. It is my job to keep two eyes on my town. I am the steward of this place, and this is my watch post. Okay, I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna I wish get you the option say I want. Things like that. Yes, as a matter of fact, when I stand at my window and look out over my town, here's what I see. I see decent, loyal, hard-working people. I see a family. We are all part of the Spacer's Choice family. We are all doing what we were brought into this world to do. I... Mm, okay. Right, let's, let's go back in then. I spoke to Adelaide. She's not coming back as long as you're here. I delivered your message, but haven't convinced Adelaide to come back. I'll try I expected one. as much. I've been thinking about it. I could use Adelaide back, but if she's being obstinate, try to talk her followers into returning. We need the extra hands. I've already done that. Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes. But I have done my best for this town. You see, I want to relay to him that Adelaide said that she can come here, give them medicine, set up her farm, all that sort of shenanigans. That's not even a freaking option. Oh, here we go. I am a Spacer's Choice man. My father was a Spacer's Choice man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned-up freelancer, but it is my home. Okay. Attack. Well, I tried. Okay, I'm not going to kill him yet. I don't believe you. Plague's a reality of life. Best treatment is a good work ethic. You are disparaging our parent company and it is not appreciated. We are a Spacer's Choice Saltuna. Maybe I can annoy him we that eat he Saltuna attacks me. Here, and only Saltuna. Okay. I don't understand. You say Adelaide's growing her own food. Yes. But that should not be possible. The well, soil's gone sour. Started. Company said as much. Our own botanists couldn't grow decent crops for us. So the company got rid of them and shut down the greenhouse. You'll excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? Uh, you're not going to like this. And when you say special fertilizer, oh. you mean what? Oh, exactly? he's pushing. He's pushing that. He's pushing it, isn't it? Uh, um. Adelaide has been using dead bodies yeah. in her fertilizer. That's come to think of it, that's a stroke of brilliance. Is it? What a remarkably efficient solution! Recycling Spacer's Choice property long after its date of expiration. I was wondering about those missing bodies in Silas's oh. cemetery. 
Oh, not more me. You're right. I am being obstinate. If the best thing I can do for this town is to stand down, then stand down I shall. I don't know why you can't just if share. If Adelaide found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. I won't stand in her way. Brilliant. My life here is ended. No, it shouldn't have. Give me to. a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. Holy fudge. A couple months ago, I might have put in for a transfer. It's a big colony. Spacer's Choice has other towns. Now, I couldn't show my face in any of them. Join my crew! I have always tried to do right by my town. It has never been easy. I do. Adelaide's found a cure for the plague. And she knows how to tend to crop. She's what this town needs. All right, fine. Okay, I feel sorry for the chat now. But at the same time, I should be able to get my power supply. Everyone's a winner, winner, chicken dinner in this story, I guess. All right, so I guess we're going to head on back over to Adelaide now. And as you know, that's freaking years away. Then again, it says 60-odd metres there. Is she coming to me or something? What the fudge is going on here? I think she's actually here, people. Does that mean she was going to... Oh, no. This is just where the gate is. And then I've got to walk 400-odd metres the other way, haven't I? I think. Let's just have a quick look, see if that's the case. If that is the case... Oh, it looks like I'm getting Facebook messages. Um, one second. Let me just... Um, let's just ch close that so you don't get any more bling happening. Right, OK. So we've got a little... Um, a little interlude here. But I think I'm, I've got a big long walk back. So you know what? I'll reconvene with you guys again. Yes, 400 odd metres. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, well I'm back to the little encampment time place. Let's head on down then. Let's go and speak to good old Adelaide. I've just swapped my guns out because I've run out of ammo. Even though I'm slaughtering lots of people and picking up bits. It seems to be that ammo seems to be rather sparse. Maybe I did need to use that vending machine and buy some ammo. But there we are. It is what it is. Hello. Look at that. The snake's come back. Ah, uh, you're not going to be saying that soon. There you go. I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. Suppose we all have a breaking point. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. Mm -hmm. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives as best we may. You're vexing to me, you know? Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here, I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom, you understand, not a reward. You're telling me you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater? Stranger, you are some kind of twisted. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. Hmm. Well, I wonder if there's an option to just kill everybody inside of this camp. I'd imagine you could. Right, anyway, we've got a load of um, points that we can put on. I'm going to stick some on melee because I'm running out of ammo extremely fast. So uh, I could I could do with that. Also, the dialogue, I, I honestly do think I need to be a little bit better at being chatty. Lot picking, let's just get that up to 30. And um, yeah, my tech has helped me out a few times, so that's going up as well. Okay, well, I'm starting to be a little bit more of a well-rounded character, I think, can't I? So let's apply that. Yeah, I'm pressing it. There you go. Sweet. Sweet. Okay, we've got a few extra melee perks there. So it hasn't opened up tier two yet. I'm going to have that with companion kills. Even oh, great. Is that? I don't know whether I want to put it there actually. Lone wolf. Mm, walk speed a bit more. Quicken the dead. Time dilation. 
the negotiator. Now nah, we, we do that one. Okay, cool. That do that. There we are. And I think we're about good. Oh, we've got something new on journal as well, people. But you know what? I think we've done enough this episode. It's been quite a long episode, hasn't it? But I've been having fun, to be honest. Frightened engineer, strange. Okay. Brilliant. So we've got a few things to do. I'm probably going to do um, the side quest before we move on to the stranger in a strange land. I think I'm just going to do that one quickly before we get the power regulator, because it could be that we're leaving the planet after I get the power regulator. And it would be nice to get maybe another member of my crew. I don't know. Anyway, people, there we go. I think we're about good. I think we're about OK to end. I've drunk all my tea. That's, that's long over empty. So until next time, people, you've been awesome. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> I'm here again. There you go.